Hi guys, this is Quinton Post from The Warriors, and you're listening to Gym on Base. Welcome back to another episode of the Gym on Base show. We're at the Santa Cruz Warriors Arena with the great Quinton Post, and it's good to see you. Thanks for coming on the show. Yes, yes. Thanks for having me. And how long have you been in Santa Cruz? Is this your first time here? Or? Um, so we've been out here for uh, a little over a week, I would say. Yeah, yeah. It's been uh, it's been really cool so far. So you're getting to lay the land a little bit. Yeah, I've walked around downtown, the little downtown area, uh, visited a few a few little shops and uh, I walked the the beach a little bit okay. so yeah no I like it so far for yeah I was looking on your uh, Instagram it looks like you like to travel get around so uh, you look like a guy that has you've seen some cool places yeah I mean I've I've lived in a, a lot of places um, throughout my life you know like kind of the game of basketball mm -hmm. I, I, um, honestly has just brought me so much I mean I'm from Europe in the in the Netherlands and I've been out here in, in the United States for uh, for year six now i think so uh yeah just the game has brought me so many places to see and and then yes like uh within europe like i've, I've traveled uh, a little bit and i knew did it sound like you kind of came up and uh, grew up in amsterdam is that where you had a lot of your years yes that's where i was born and raised uh played basketball till i was 18 before i moved and uh, i think one of the guys that you played with over there jesse edwards right from the timberwolves mm -hmm. uh, so did you kind of grow up playing with each other or? yes actually we uh started when he he started so I, I i started playing basketball one year before him but uh, we started playing in the same team when he started playing and we played all up uh, until the age of 18 17 18 and then we parted ways I, I stayed another year in europe and he came to the united states to play high school ball and but and super cool obviously that we're now both here and if I, back then, I wouldn't want to drive to the hoop on you guys, two seven-foot guys down there. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, when I have people on, I like to know, because I'm a big music fan. Okay. So I'm curious, uh, are you into music? Who was your first concert? I don't know if I've ever been to a concert, to be honest. Okay. I probably have. I've been to a festival in Amsterdam. No, not Amsterdam. In, it was in the Netherlands. It was, um, I think it's called Wuha. Okay. I watched ASAP Rocky there perform live. I, back then, I didn't even really know who ASAP Rocky was, but you know, I wasn't that much into the American music scene. But uh, yeah, that's probably the, one of the first concerts. But I'm not a big concert going. I, I like I listen to all types of music though, I, but nothing too specific. And I think uh, did were you at training camp about a couple weeks ago? Were you in Hawaii? Did you get to go there? Yeah, or? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was there. Hawaii was uh, that was actually my first time in Hawaii, and it was it lived up to the name. And what was it like, too? I imagine, you know, being a basketball fan, you've probably seen Curry play, Draymond as a kid. So is it pretty surreal to walk up to them now you're on the same team? Yes. I mean, the first few weeks, like, that I was with the organization, like, I was, you know, like, a little starstruck, as probably everybody kind of would be. Um, but, yeah, quickly, like, you're kind of in that situation now, and now you kind of have to hold your own, you know, and you have to kind of prove yourself within the system and yeah within the lines with those guys so yeah, you kind of also you know adapt pretty fast but yeah it's so cool you know with the history that they have made um in the in the nba over the last decade um so yeah it's it's been it's been like a dream and it must be pretty interesting too to play for steve kerr for a minute and now you're with his son nicholas kerr so it's kind of cool <laughs> yeah exactly i mean uh, nick he does a great job with the um uh, what kind of you know promoting the vision that the Warriors have and kind of putting his own spin to it too and uh, as a person like I've gotten to know um, Nick a lot better and just a really cool dude and a great coach. And when it comes to growing up uh, were you into other sports too or who are your favorite teams and players? Uh, so from 6 to 11 I played soccer, okay. um, big sport back home. Uh, at 11 I played, started playing basketball. Um, my idol growing up was um, Dirk Nowitzki probably uh, started playing basketball in the year that he won the, the, the championship. Big guy who shoots the ball. Yeah, it all kind of made sense. Um, so yeah, that's probably the biggest, biggest uh, idol. From Have you got to meet him yet? Or? No, 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 not yet. Uh, but maybe someday if we play in Dallas, uh, and then uh, yeah, I'll get to. Who are you like away from the court? What else do you like to do for fun? I mean, yeah. Nothing too special, you know. I uh, gotten back into reading a little bit. Uh, I like to play video games. Uh, I like taking, you know, I like walking. I like being out in in um, nature, like exploring n new places. So, you know, I, like I said earlier, I've got to walk around here a little bit in uh, in the cruise and yeah, just things like that. Does uh, the family get to come out and have? Or the, I imagine they're going to visit you and see you play some games out here. 
At some point, for sure. Yeah, they'll. I, I'll definitely want them to see uh, Santa Cruz and San Francisco. So we'll get, we'll make that happen at some point. And I know. I think you had the opportunity to play in Barcelona, right? And then you chose to go to college out here instead. I think you're referring to like I had a, like an opportunity to go play there. I didn't do it. I yeah. came to play college, but I played. So after my year in Amsterdam, I played a year in Berlin for Alba Berlin. They're like they play in the Euro League. They're very, very good. Um, developmental team too so they really helped me out and from there i i, I um i came to college um but uh, yeah that's kind of how it went and i do have to ask you know is your dad was he a good player or do, who do you get the height from uh both my parents my dad is six seven six eight my mom is six one uh six foot six one or something so it was always you know i was always going to be a big guy um uh, but yeah my dad he was a a, a good player great shooter uh, more of a, a mid-range shooter, but you know, um, and he still plays. Actually, he's 15 right now. He still plays with his, you know, his friends' team, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, in the summers, I'll, I'll I'll go down there and and play with him uh, and and his team. So yeah, it's always fun and kind of got the the game from him. So can can he still get some shots in on you? Or <laughs> <laughs> it's getting tougher and tougher, that's for sure. But yeah, he can still get him up a little bit. Well, Quentin, it's been fun to get to know you. Thanks for giving me a few minutes, and I'll be rooting you on uh, the rest of the way. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate it.